Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see 2016 question paper KMAP problem. So I am going to solve this particular question. So let us see the question now. Before that, if you need 2015 KMAP solution, you can check out my channel playlist KMAP. In that, I have uploaded 2015 question paper solution as well as 2015 supplementary question also. So I have solved both the question. This is the third question I am solving 2016 paper. So let us see the problem now. Here they have given you need to solve SOP. SOP means sum of product. So let us see the question. F of A, B, C, D. So you are going to use A, B, C, D in your table. So in this table you can see A, B I have used here and C, D I have used in the columns. So this is nothing but a bar, B bar means 0, 0, A bar means 0, B means 1, A B means 1, 1, A means 1 and B bar means 0. In the same way C D in this line, in this columns you have C D, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So wherever bar is there that is 0, wherever bar is not there that is 1. So next this is completed. Next we are going to see this particular thing. M1 plus M2 plus M4 up to M13 you have the question. In view of the question paper you have directly 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 12 like that. But here they have given in the terms of M1 plus M2. So let me show you M1 whatever the number here it is that will be the question. Plus you have M2 that is 2. Next 4. Next it is M5. Next it is M9. That means 9. Next it is M11. So it is 11. Next M12. That is 12. M13. That is 13. This is the numbers. Wherever this number is there, you are going to place 1. Why it is 1? Because SOP. SOP means whatever the given number is there, in that particular place you are going to place 1. So next it is we are going to enter the numbers inside this. So first we are going to start with 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this is how we are going to enter. Next, next line. 4, 5, 6 and 7. Done. Leave this line. Next come to the last line 8, 9 10, 11. Next go with the third line. 12, 13, 14 and 15. So this is how you are going to enter the number. So done with this. And you might think why I have written 2 here, next 3 and this line first I have filled the last line then I have filled the third line. So you might be thinking this is the standard form of KMAP. You cannot change this particular thing so this is the next rule the next one is you have to enter the values inside this k map so whatever the values you have in this particular block you are going to enter the first one is one so in the place of one you are going to place one here next it is two in the place of two you have placed one next it is four in place of four you are going to place one Next it is 5. In place of 5 you are going to fill. Next it is 9. Here. Next it is 11. Next it is 12. Next it is 13. So this is how you are going to enter the values inside the KMAN. Whatever the remaining blocks left. There you are going to place 0 inside the blocks. The next step is grouping. So grouping is you are going to group all the ones in terms of octal. Octal means 8. In terms of quad, quad means 4. Next in terms of 
pair next in terms of single so this is how we are going to group first we are going to see octal here we don't have any octal so next go with the quad quad you have one here one over here next you have this particular thing so two quad this is your first group this is your second group next you have pair so here you can see a pair so this is your third one third group next you have one term over here so this you cannot group with any of the ones here so this will be your single one so this will be your g4 so this is how you are going to group nextly to write the expression so first g1 i am going to take so that is quad q1 so here you can see this whole is a quad so go with this one i will mark it in pencil so here this one this one this one this one in whole term we don't have any of the common term here so we are going to leave this particular column next go with here here we have common term is c bar d so that you are going to enter it over here so this is your first quad expression next it is this one that is also quad so you have taken q2 so here you have consider this one only this one so this line and this line so here we have common term has b here a bar and a is there this is not common b b b is a common term here so i have written b here then go with these two these two lines so that is c bar d bar c bar d so in this two column the term common is c bar so you are going to write c bar here so this is completed next g3 i am going this line as well as these two line so first i am going to for these two terms a b bar is common this is a pair so i have written p1 pair number 1 for this a and b bar is there so next go with this in these two things you have d has a common term so you are going to write d here next you have a single one so for that this one and this a bar b bar a bar b bar and in column you have c and d bar so this is the expression then lastly you need to write an final expression to write final expression you are going to write f of a b c d is equal to go with the first one write that c bar d plus b c bar plus a b bar d plus a bar b bar c and d bar so this is the final expression this is a simplest way of writing k bar so this is the solution for 2016 problem i hope you understood this particular problem if you like this video please hit a like share it with your friends and if you have any doubts leave a comment in the comment section i'm going to answer it and 2016 supplementary paper soon i'm going to upload it please like share and subscribe my channel thank you